Hi, you guys. Well, okay, a while ago, probably um, three weeks, four weeks ago, I made a video about the Q&A Help Us Find Our Baby Edition video. So I got a bunch of questions on there, um, and I'm going to answer the ones that are not already on our profile, some that y'all helped me think of to put on there. So, um, all right, let's begin. Um, one question I was asked is, would I be willing to adopt a special needs baby? Um, after a lot of thought, yes and no. If they required a lot of special needs, just a lot of time and um, a lot of time and had a lot of medical problems, I probably couldn't do that. Just for the fact that I already have a child and I just, it would be really hard to juggle both. So, I mean, if I had to pick, I probably would not, if they were severely handicapped or something like that, I wouldn't. Not to say I wouldn't do it later on when Sawyer's a little older, but as for right now, probably not. It probably wouldn't be best for us. So, okay, um, would I adopt outside of my faith? I would, and a lot of people have asked me what religion I am, and, you know, I'm a Christian. I One thing I don't like to talk about is politics and religion. I just, it just opens up so much controversy, and um, I, I just like to keep it, I don't like the negativity that comes from you know, I, just because I believe one way and you don't believe the same way doesn't, I don't want to argue about it. So I just kind of um, keep it simple like that. Okay, um, one thing I've been asked, will I put my YouTube page on our adoption profile? Yes, I am going to do that. I feel that if they are going to pick us, they have the right to know what they, you know, if we put it out there, they have the right to know. Um, and maybe they can get to know us better. Okay. Are you afraid Sawyer will be upset when he is older about being adopted? Absolutely not. I don't think he'll be upset at all. I've talked to a lot of people that were adopted at a young age, and um, they're very at peace with that. I mean, it's, it's really all they know. So I'm really not worried about it at all. Okay. Do you put peanut butter on both sides of the bread? Do you like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? When preparing a meal, do you keep all food groups in mind? Okay. Y'all are not going to believe this, but I have honestly never eaten a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I know it sounds crazy. I mean, maybe when I was little, but I'm not a big fan of bread, and I just don't like sandwiches that much. So, I, and no one believes me. I mean, Brett does, because he knows that, you know, I never do it, but I do not make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's weird. I mean, I, I made one for Sawyer one time, but for myself, I mean, I just, I cannot ever remember eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. When preparing a meal, do I keep all food groups in mind? Uh, I do. I do. So with Sawyer, it's been really picky, but since I got that little blender, it's been a total lifesaver. So, uh, yes, I like to try to keep it balanced and healthy. What are our desires as a couple and our dreams and ambitions for our life? You know, we just... Brett and I, and we are very, we like to explore a lot. We would love to just travel the world with our children someday. I mean, that's why Brett's going to school now, so we can, um, he can have a job that has good job security, and he'll be successful, and we can take, afford these trips and take these trips, so we're really looking forward to that. Do I like sweet or savory foods? Mmm, I like savory foods. When I have 30 minutes of free time, how do I pass the time? Oh gosh, free time with absolutely nothing. I'll probably take a nap. What was the first thing you bought with your own money? My own money. I remember when I was younger, my dad always uh, told me every time I brought home an A on a paper, I got a dollar. So I remember I finally made 20 A's and then he took me to the store and I bought one of those dolls that you raise their arm up and their hair grew. That was the first thing I can remember buying with my own money. <laughs> um, when was the last time you were nervous? Oh, goodness. I don't know. Uh, probably a couple weeks ago, we went to this bounce house world place, and I did a double front flip into a foam pit. That kind of made me nervous. What is something you've learned in the last week? You know, okay, this last week, um, we had just got home from vacation, and something I want to try to do is I'm, I'm getting, I had a birthday, and I'm getting older, and it's like, I just feel like, I just want to try something new like every single day and um, I just feel that it's just important to get out and learn stuff and not just waste your life away completely just immersed in your work or sleeping all day and so I just feel like the inner explorer of me is coming out and I'm really excited about that. 
What story does your family always tell you? Um, I don't know. I don't know. These are really good questions. And they're all coming from one person. Justin Jamie, 2006. Uh, what story? Let's see. What do you miss most about being a kid? I miss not worrying about anything, not stressing about anything. I miss that. What is your first memory of being really excited? I remember being excited when my brother was born. I remember I was so excited to be a big sister. And yeah, I guess that's my first one. All right. Next question. What is my discipline style? How many family vacations do you take a year? Okay, discipline style, I don't spank my kid. Um, I teach him with, you know, by example, and I have to just be very patient with him. When he does do something that really just gets under my nerves, we'll do time out. And it's easy right now because I can just put him in his crib and leave him there for a couple minutes. And usually, he, you know, he doesn't do it again. It's been pretty successful, but I don't know how long we're going to do it when he gets older. Okay, how many vacations does your family take here? We do a lot. I just, I get cabin fever really easy, and I just like to just go and explore and go to places I've never been, or even if I've been there, doing them again. So we probably, on average, three, four, five a year, but with Brett starting school, it's going to be a lot less. Okay, uh, do you believe your children should have a job for graduating high school to learn responsibility, or do you want them to just focus on that? How will you teach them financial responsibility? Okay. Um, I think if they're in a sport or something, they don't need a job. They will have so much going on. I want them to enjoy being a teenager because once you have a job, it's kind of like you'll work for the rest of your life. So, um, with financial responsibility, uh, you know, if they want money, they'll have to earn it, like for sure, doing stuff around the house or something. I won't just hand out money to my children. But I really don't want them to have a job that'll take up all their time. Like if they have, if they're not in like sports or band or something, then yeah, then get a job. But um, I do want them, they will know the value of a dollar. They really will. I don't believe in spoiling your kids and giving them everything that they want. Uh, why was Sawyer all sweaty? Was he watching cops? That was from Heath. Sawyer is sweaty because it's 100,000 degrees outside. <laughs> Where have we traveled? Oh my goodness. We have been all over the United States. Out of the U.S., we've been, between Brett and I, we've been to... England, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, France, uh, Cozumel, or wait, is it Cozumel? Yeah, Cozumel, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, England, I'll say that. Those are outside the U.S. Inside the U.S., we've been all over the U.S. Okay, um, do you have regular family get-togethers? Do you have family breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Do you have game movie night? Okay, um, something Brett and I have started doing is Monday night is family night. Like, we do stuff together. Like, yesterday was Monday, and we went to the park, took all the dogs, and we just went for a walk and just played at the park. And we try to do something every night. It's been hard to have dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, because our schedules are so conflicting. We work opposite days, so it's been really hard to sit down and have dinner. But that is one thing I'm so looking forward to now that I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom. I'm really, really looking forward to that. So, um... Yeah, once we do, once I'm a stay at home mom, we will definitely have more dinners. When we are together, we do have family dinner. Me, Sawyer, and Brett just around the table. How often do our family get together? It's not as often as I'd like. Our families live out of state. Both of our families do. I mean, I have some family members here, but not that I'm super close with. But um, our, like our parents and our siblings all live out of state. What is the first thing you do in the morning and the last thing you do before bed? First thing I do in the morning is go get Sawyer out of bed. Um, he wakes me up. He is my alarm clock. Um, last thing before bed, I probably just say my prayers and then hop into bed, turn on my heating blanket. I have to sleep with the heating blanket because I'm so cold. I think the most important question is how, uh, or how would I explain adoption to the child? Well, adoption, I will, my kids will always know that they're adopted. I feel that it's very important that they know their chapter one. I feel like it's nothing to be ashamed of, you know? It's something they should be proud. They should be proud that they were adopted, you know? So they'll always know from day one. I mean, Sawyer, um, like, he doesn't really understand right now, but he knows that Lauren and Jason are very special to us. He knows, like, I've shown him pictures. He knows who they are. He, I mean, they are part of his life. I mean, 
they we talk about them we include them in like all our prayers and and Sawyer knows that they are somebody very special that we love them but I don't think he fully understands his whole situation yet but it's something that he will grow up always knowing do you read bedtime stories yes every single night we read to Sawyer and I mean, it started out when I first started reading to him. He just wasn't interested, but the more we do it, now he'll sit there and listen to an entire book, and he likes to turn the pages, and if he's not done looking at it, he'll put the hand down, like, on the page, so we won't turn the page until he's done looking at it. Then he'll turn the page, and, but yes, it's something that we do every single night. If I were ever in a situation where my future daughter got pregnant at a young age, would you try to push her towards adoption, or would you help her raise her baby? Okay, I've been asked that a lot, and... Um, I, one thing I would want her to know is all her options. I would not push her anyway. If she wanted to keep her baby and raise her baby, that's fine. However, I would want her to understand that keeping the baby, um, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. Um, I just would want her to know all the options. I would want her to understand, but I wouldn't push her one way or the other. I, I feel like that is her decision to make. And I would be very supportive of whatever she wanted to do. Okay. Um, would you raise your children to have the same religious beliefs of you? Uh, will it religious beliefs as us? Yes, we will. Um, you know, we are very Christian people, and um, I'm going to raise my kids the same way. I mean, I will not force my kids. Once they're older, I will not force them into anything that they don't want to do or don't believe, but while they're young, yeah, you know, they're, I'm going to take them to church. I'll take them to a primary. I want them to learn about Jesus and everything. We have tattoos. If so, what do they mean? No, we don't have any tattoos. What do you guys do for a living? Uh, Brett is a registered nurse, and he's starting anesthesia school or nurse anesthetist school uh, in like a couple weeks, and I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom. Would we adopt a child of a different race? Yes, we would. Sawyer is actually four different races. So, yeah, we would from a different rate. Is open adoption the only way you would go? What if what if I don't want anything to do with the baby after because I got pregnant by rape? Ooh. Um, I like open adoption, but if there's a situation like that where you don't want it open, I'm completely 100% okay with keeping it closed. It is. Um, I would probably ask you a billion questions because I know the child uh, would want to know about their roots. So I'd probably like, pick your brain to death if you would allow me, but um, uh, if you want to keep it closed, that's fine. What kind of style you would dress your children in? Super preppy, funky, boutique, gymboree, and what kind of nursery were you planning? Okay, one thing I like about kids' clothes is, um, and y'all may have seen this in some of Sawyer's, I don't like clothes that have like dinosaurs and bears and stuff on them like that. I like adult looking clothes on little kids. Those are my favorite kind. Okay, for my next baby, am I trying, if you're planning on trying to feed the baby donated breast milk, yes, I would definitely want to try that again. I was so grateful for that. Um, it is something I will try and look for again when that time comes. What did my parents instill in me that you would instill in your children? One thing my parents always did that I'm so grateful for was I was not allowed to do things halfway. I mean, they were very, I wasn't allowed to just, I remember one time um, I was doing the dishes in the kitchen and I was just going to hurry. So I just like didn't even wash them off. I just threw them all in the dishwasher. And so my dad saw what I did and he made me take all the dishes out, wash them by hand and put them away. I, I couldn't, you know, I lost my privilege of using the dishwasher. I know it sounds harsh, but like I understood that you needed, to, I needed to learn that lesson that you can't do things halfway. Like if you're going to do something, you need to do it right the first time. Um, that and just to be honest and to be a good person and just um, respect, be respectful of other people. If we had a chance to have our own reality show, would you? And what would it be about? Oh goodness. You know, I don't know. I've seen all these families on reality shows and a lot of them just, it kind of destroys the family except for the Duggars. The Duggars are awesome. So, uh, I don't know. I don't think our lives are interesting enough for a reality show. But, I would be, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, okay, well those are just some of the questions that y'all asked. Sorry this video is so, so long. But, thank you guys for all your help. I really appreciate everything. Y'all are amazing. So, um, who knows, maybe one of these questions will be one that uh, helps somebody 
picks us. Maybe they'll find some common interest or something. Who knows? So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Bye.